I've nearly finished the left wing. I've only got to put the Easy UHF on it now. Um, I've had to extend the wire to the retract because that was only just about poking out. I mean, this isn't a bit of play in that. I don't like play. Um, but anyway, I had to cut a channel in here and feed it through there because I couldn't get the wire out anyway. So I've extended the wire, um, put the gun on, which doesn't work by the way. <laughs> I've put um, a servo horn on here which was 3D printed, um, which I had to design. Um, just to give it some more meat to actually grab because I don't like normal, you know what I mean, those little bloody things they just pop out as soon as you use it so that's that now I've got some paint I went down to B&Q and I picked up some match pots what we call match pots over in the UK uh, different colour blue and also a green, that's the only green I could find that was close to it which as you can see I painted that, it was grey it's not dark enough but it's closer than grey so what I've got to do is find some darker grey grey, it's bloody green, green um, the blue isn't far off actually actually no it's that one it's not actually far off it is a slightly lighter um, when you paint it on this stuff looks dirty actually so I've done that on pieces that I've actually I've had to cut out um, I've still got some touching up I've got to do because this is going to be mint I want it absolutely mint so what I'm going to do with this now is put the easy UHF um, somewhere around about here, I'm going to put it on the underside and then feed the wires through somehow, I think down the servo, there's a servo hole there which I'm going to feed them down there and I don't know exactly how I'm going to do it but I don't want it visible but it's got to be unfortunately unless I cut something out and then put it in and then put a plate over the top, I don't know it's going to have to be visible um, it's not going to be visible on the top side, which is what I want purely because when I'm looking out to the left I don't want to see an easy UHF module oh yeah, I've put hinges on there as well these are actually, I can't remember what you call them now I don't know if you can see them in there um, there's six, six hinges on there and that is a uh, nice tight fit that is I'm not going to be using flaps, although there is, you know, you can do it. I'm not going to be using them. So, I'm going to cut my hole out for the easy UHF somewhere around here. I've got the easy UHF mounted into the left wing, and I'm using one of the uh, Big Nose 13 dipoles, coil loaded dipole, like that, which I've still got to straighten out because it's been sitting like that. There's the easy UHF nano. Um, the wires then go through the. Um, uh, there's actually a hole in there for wires to go through, which was a nightmare to thread them through, but there you go. In the right hand wing, I've got a circularly polarised skew antenna, whatever you want to call it, clover leaf, blah de blah de blah. Um, I may put a dipole in here, I'm not sure yet. I'm not, I don't like that. But, it works, well it will work. Um, 200 milliwatt mounted there. Cabling goes through in the same hole, comes out here. Um, I don't know how to cover this. I don't know what to do with it. What's that? I don't know whether I don't know whether to get some tape on there or, or just glue it or what I don't know yet. I don't really want horrible looking stuff, you know what I mean? So that's done. Servos are mounted. Uh hinges are mounted. I've done another one of these. 
um, and control all and things. So that's that one done. The tail has got um, these pinned hinges, don't know if you can see them. Um, that works perfectly. Wrong one. The rudder, which has also got pinned hinges, which I don't know if you can see. Um, that tail I've knocked, I actually bent it down a bit to give it more uh, to get the back end down a bit to stop um, like nose overs. So that's done. Um, shit. In here, there's a sh I've made this shelf, uh, 3D printed this shelf for the vector to sit on. On the front, I've just mocked it up and put the prop on there just to see if I can get the CG right. And I'm going, I'm still using the original motor because apparently it's not, it's not bad at all. And trying to put a different motor on there was a nightmare. Um, trying to get the prop clearance. Now these things have actually got some offset. And you can't see it. I've had to shave some off the side here because the spinner, and it still doesn't fit perfectly. The spinner, there was loads of gap on the on this uh, on the left hand side. And the reason being is because it's actually raked to the right very slightly to counteract torque roll. So that's that. That's got to be. I've got to find a way of uh, balancing this all one complete unit somehow. Um, and that's it. Now I've done all the bits and pieces that I need to fit. The last. Well, not the last. Uh, the next thing I've got to do is mount um, the, the the vector on there with all the wiring and everything else. Now there is a downside to this. It's a downside to putting weight here. Um, it's not far back from the CG, but I can't get the CG right now with a 2200 milliamp battery, or, or you know, they, they recommend a battery like that for flight. I'll probably give you about three minutes, but anyway. The only way I can get CG right is using, I haven't got one here, a 5000 milliamp battery in the front, in the nose, which is going to make it rather heavy, but it'll make nice scale takeoffs, that's if it leaves the ground. Um, as I've said before, the wing loading. It is virtually the same as the Mini Talon, and I'll fly that with a 5000, no problem whatsoever. So, I know this will fly, and I know people have put 5000 milliamp 4S in the front before. But the only thing I've had to do is, which you're not going to be able to see, the battery's going to sit in there. I don't know if you can see, I've had to cut all that out, which was an absolute nightmare to do really really hard to get a blade in there and cut all them fins out but it's done it's done and now it balances up perfectly so I'm going to fit the vector in, current sensor the ASC has got to go right up the front as well to keep the, the CG right yeah electronics time now And that goes to the micro, oh, which I'm using one of the um, I've got the easy UHF mounted into the left wing uh, with the e, uh, <laughs> I've also had to modify um, bollocks and you know what I mean that I've had to modify I've got paint on my hand I've had to mod oh f 